Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Joe Beretta. Knock, knock. Who's there? Somebody with a knocking problem. Ha ha! This Saturday marked the goodbye of SNL cast member Kristen Wiig. You know Kristen Wiig from 70 Years of Saturday Night Live or countless movies like Knocked Up, MacGruber, Adventureland, How to Train Your Dragon, Paul, or you know, Bridesmaids. That film that she co-wrote and starred in that received a Golden Globe, Screen Actors Guild, and Academy Award nominations. Oh, and it had one of the biggest comedy box office openings of the year. Not to mention she's hilarious and she's incredibly hot while still being incredibly funny and very much not afraid of foregoing the hot factor for a good laugh, as seen in some of her more famous characters like Judas the tiny-handed, five-headed sister on the Lawrence Welk talk show. Or the eccentric and socially awkward Target Lady! Some of my favorites include Penelope, the character that always has to one-up everybody else in the room, and then there's the movie critic Aunt Linda, who is very opinionated and very turtlenecky. And of course, with Kristen Wiig's departure, the main question is, who will fill her spot? I mean, sure they have a cast full of women, but Wiig had something that you just can't duplicate. When Tina Fey and Amy Poehler left, everyone felt safe, knowing that Kristen Wiig was still there. But now, who's left? And although there have been multiple rumors as to who else is leaving, Andy Samberg and Jason Sudeikis being some of the speculated, we haven't officially found out who is leaving. Which which means it's time for a new king or queen to reign. I would personally like to see Bill Hader take the crown and see him flanked by Taryn Killam and Jay Farrow, who I think hasn't got a chance, but he will get one now. And me personally, I'd like to see a chick that isn't afraid of her own comedy shadow, meaning start being funny in an aggressive way. Vanessa Bayer, I believe in you, girl. All of that being said, Kristen Wiig leaving Saturday Night Live is probably the best move for her. Over its 37 year run, it's popped out some of the best box office comedians of our time. Seriously, aside from Jim Carrey and Steve Carell, I challenge you to think of a comedy star that didn't get their start on SNL. I had him Sandler, nope. Uh, Will Ferrell, uh-uh. Does Will Smith count? I said comedy star. Ouch. And now that Miss Wig has left her beloved Saturday night show, she can move on to roles of higher grandeur, where hopefully she still finds fart jokes and weird faces hilarious. So, do you like Kristen Wig, and who do you think is gonna take over the reins at SNL? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button, click the annotation down below, or just go to com for five daily stories and everything else you've ever done. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Joe Beretta. No, I'm Joe Beretta because one time I was Joe Beretta, but I was way more Joey and I was way more Beretta-y. <laughs>